here we are going to learn about how to find number of elements on combinations of sets like A intersection B, A union B, whole complement etc. Right? Now we already know what is number of elements of a set. N of A is the number of elements in set A. Now the question is if you want to find the number of elements in A union B. So let us take a Venn diagram and let us say this is A, this is B. I want to find the number of elements in A union B. Now what we cannot write is we cannot say it is N of A union N of B. This is wrong because Union is an operation that applies between two sets. N of A is a number. Please understand the moment we put N of, we are changing from set to number. Numbers can only be added. So, the next guess that people will make is maybe it is N of A plus N of B. But this also turns out to be wrong because N of A is the number of elements in all of set A which includes this entire region. N of B is all the elements in set B but you see when you count this plus this you are double counting the common region. Therefore, the correct answer for N of A union B is N of A plus N of B minus the common part which is minus N of A intersection B. Now, what is N of A intersection B? We do not know. That has to be told separately, right? In a context, in a particular problem, if you are told what is N of A and N of B, you cannot find N of A union B. You need to know what is N of A intersection B. What is common between the two sets? That number you must know. If you know that, then you can find the union. Now, similarly, if you know N of A, N of B and N of A union B, you can of course find N of A intersection B. right? Now, this idea can be applied for more than two sets also. right? Suppose you have three sets A, B and C. The question is what is N of A union B union C? What is the number of elements that is there in all the three put together, but here you cannot double count, right? So, our first guess will be first let us add N of A, N of B, and N of C, but we know that that will double count many regions. For example, this region will be double counted because it comes in A as well as B. Similarly, this region will be double counted because it comes in A as well as C and finally, this region will also be double counted because this comes in B and C. So, now what we will do is we will subtract the A intersection B region because we counted it twice. right? Similarly, let us subtract the B intersection C and the A intersection C. This looks like we have solved all the problem, but there is an issue still. This blue region if you see we counted it once in A and once in B and when we subtracted it, we subtracted it once from A intersection B and therefore, it gets included exactly once in the overall A union B union C which is what it should be. Same thing with this yellow region also. In B intersection C, it was counted once in B, once in C, then subtracted once. So, it is correct, but the problem is when you look at this small region which is A intersection B intersection C, okay, it is the intersection of all the three colors, so I will just put it as white. Now, this region got added once in A, once in B, once in C. So, it got added 3 times, but it also got subtracted 3 times. It got subtracted 
when we subtracted a intersection b because this is part of a intersection b this is also part of b intersection c and a intersection c that means in the final analysis this region does not find a place at all but that's wrong this is also included in the a union b union c therefore the final term here is to add n of a intersection b intersection c so this is the expression for the number of elements in the union of three sets as a sum or difference of the number of elements in the individual sets as well as what is there in pairwise intersection as well as common intersection. This these two are extremely useful to solve practical problems, word problems where you have situations where um, you know you, uh, you have so many students interested in subject A then subject B then both subjects etc. These kind of problems can be solved using these two expressions.